G'day and welcome to another edition of Hef's Beer Reviews. Regular viewers would notice that this is not the usual setting that you see in the background. That's because I have had the great pleasure of moving house. So I've been very busy, hence the lack of reviews. Today, I am going to be reviewing this beer here. It is the Ale Smith Nut Brown. It comes all the way from San Diego, California and was sent to me from Swillengrog. I will link his channel in the comments below, although I'm guessing most of you, if you're watching this, have probably seen his outstanding work on YouTube before. Uh, what have we got? 355 mil can, 5%, 1.4 standard drinks. This was also recently reviewed by Jez from Jez Beer Reviews. It's inspired me to... Uh, Get it out myself. Into the pint glass. You can be aggressive with a pour because it's a pint glass. There we go. All right. Uh, it's dark, dark brown. I can actually see some floaties. You probably can't see it on the camera. Uh, but some definite floaties in there. And we've got a good amount of tan head. Yeah, aroma. Mmm, smells very enticing. Very malty. Some definite coffee and chocolate notes coming through there too in the aroma. Yeah, smells really good. <laughs> Alright, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Okay, just froth there. That's better. Okay. Reasonably smooth, so not too carbonated. Uh, the taste is similar to the aroma in that there's, it, it's very malty as you'd expect. Um, I believe that the hops are East Kent Goldings, but um, they're not really uh, having a huge impact on either the flavour or the aroma. <coughs> the flavour that is coming through is from those malts. It's chocolatey. There's a, a hint of, uh, of coffee. There's caramel. Uh, maybe a bit of toffee. Yeah, it's really nice. Minimal bitterness. Um, what have we got on here? Deep mahogany in colour, rich notes of biscuit, cocoa, creamy mouthfeel, full body. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd say that's reasonably accurate, actually, reasonably accurate description. At five percent, certainly a beer that you could session. I have. Uh, have become aware from looking at some of the uh, reviews on Un Untapped that the draft version is on Nitro, which I imagine would be absolutely delicious. So if you're a fan of English style brown owls, and we don't have enough of them here in Australia, I would definitely recommend trying to get your hands on this one. I'm not sure where Swill and Grog was able to procure this from, uh, but I'm sure that it was online and uh, probably cost a pretty penny too, uh, I'm afraid. But yeah, it's a good one. One more sip, we'll give it a score. Okay, look, that's everything I'm looking for in a brown owl. I can't fault it. That is a five out of five for the Alesmith Nut brown english style brown owl outstanding thanks for watching this episode of hef's beer reviews and we'll catch you next time